Hello, this is a new project I've been working on for the past six months. It's a controller board for a 3 printer and it's based on a 32-bit uh, ARM CPU made by STMicro. Um, it actually uses this development kit called Nucleus 64. Uh, the particular version is F446RE. Um, and uh, the board itself has the motor controllers and the MOSFETs for the heated bed and the extruders and some other uh, logic. There's a myriad of connectors here for end stops, thermistors, uh, LCD panel, this here guy, this is fans, um, etc. Uh, so the two boards plug actually together in this kind of fashion so this guy goes into these two headers uh, the board is pretty standard support five motor drivers uh, it's uh, XYZ axis and two extruders uh, and of course the uh, heating elements for two extruders and the heated bed um, uh, of course a bunch of end stops, there's a Zipro connector, etc, etc. Uh, this is actually an earlier revision of the board. This particular revision is made for the TMC2130 drivers. Uh, and have a slightly newer board uh, running right over here. You can't see much of it because most of the important bits are covered by this fan duct which helps with uh, cooling the uh, motor drivers and also the MOSFETs which are over here. And this board has been printing, well kind of printing, it does everything except there is no actual filament coming out. Uh, because these are my extruder motors, they're just sitting here, I haven't connected them yet so they can extrude filament. But the point of this experiment is to see if the board can print for 5 or 6 hours without anything uh, overheating or it crashing or it doing something strange. Uh, and well, it's been printing for two hours so far. There's three more hours to go, which is pretty stable. The board runs a standard Marlin firmware, the uh, 2.0 branch, um, and well, that is it. It's actually I'm pretty happy with the state of it. It's running uh, very nicely. This particular revision, the previous one was overheating a little bit uh, because the uh, layout of the drivers, of the copper and the drivers wasn't sufficient for cooling. I had these heat sinks on the bottom, but they were not enough to run the motors at high current. Uh, this uh, uh, this one, especially with this duct, is actually very successful. Um, maybe I start a Kickstarter or something at some point. Um, well, that's it. If you have any questions, you know, if there's comments below, hit me. Thank you.